Thank you, thank you. you look, how beautiful and extraordinary uh, does Gail look today? Come on. I never look like on the set, not on the set. Ha well, hardly. You look amazing. Um, look, this is just my first time in the Hollywood uh, Walk of Fame, and it is probably one of the most intense sightseeing experiences of my life. But um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the first time we met. And um, I was testing three years ago, I think it was, for the role of Rick Grimes in The Walking Dead. And I think a few of you know the show. I was, I was, I was jet lagged. I, I hadn't slept for two days. I, I drunk way too much coffee. And I'd been killing zombies all afternoon in Frank Darabont's garage. I was not in good shape. A very large, tinted windowed car pulled up outside of my hotel, and inside was an extremely glamorous, tinted, sunglassed woman who said, hop in. <laughs> now, I knew exactly who this was. I'd seen and loved pretty much every movie she'd ever made, so I hopped in. Now, keen to impress Gail with my um, action hero credentials, I launched into a story about scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef. Gail listened patiently to my story, but it was only about a year later I found out she was not only a certified diver, but had owned her own scuba diving company. <laughs> Knowing uh, I had to play an apocalyptic cowboy in the show, I steered the conversation onto horse riding. Now, my horse riding skills are at the very best basic, but that didn't hold me back. <laughs> Gail listened intently, was incredibly gracious, but failed to mention she was currently onto her third ranch and had owned and ridden horses all of her life. Perhaps this goes some way to explaining why she has continued to be so successful throughout her career. Gail carries her status extremely lightly, gives time to people far less experienced, talented, and intelligent than herself and has the uncanny knack of being able to fit into any situation. Filming in a hundred degree heat in a Georgia cornfield, while everyone else is being eaten alive by chiggers, ticks, Stephen, <laughs> and all manner of blood-sucking bugs, Gail is immaculate, dressed head to toe in her safari suit, <laughs> looking not unlike Catherine Hepburn in The African Queen. Even in the madness that is San Diego's Comic-Con, amongst a sea of fanboys dressed as Ewoks, Stormtroopers, and Jar Jar Binks, I love saying that, Gail glides through the event like the intergalactic space princess she is. When people ask me why, after 20 years of acting, it was time to do a zombie survival horror, I don't get any further than mentioning one name, the name we are honoring today. Gail, it is a pleasure to know you and an education to work with you, and one of the great honors to be asked to celebrate with you here today. Thank you. <laughs> 